This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to buy and then stake Hector Dow for the staking rewards of around 300,000 APY. If you find value in this video, leave a like if you want more content like this. Feel free to subscribe. <laughs> now the process might be a little bit different depending on where you are. I'm in the US, so I'm going to be using Binance US as the starting point. So the first thing you need to do here is deposit money into your USD on your Binance US um, profile here. So you're probably gonna have a bank set up here, put in the dollar amount that you wanna wire or transfer into your Binance account. Once you do that, then we're gonna go down to BNB and we're gonna go trade. We're gonna trade BNB and USD. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to buy, I'll just do market and I'm going to buy 100% bnb of my usd um, amount then you just click buy bnb and then soon that transfer will go through or that trade will go through and you'll trade that usd for bnb so now if you go back to the wallet click wallet right here you should see that you have some bnb now we're going to click right here and then quick with click withdrawal now that you're in the withdrawal BNB page, you're just going to put uh, click max BNB. You don't need to leave any BNB in your Binance uh, US wallet here. So just click max, whatever it's gonna be. I'm not gonna do this, so I'm gonna click zero. Um, and then make sure you change this to the BEP20 BSC so that we're gonna, we're gonna be trading on the Binance Smart Chain network here. So now you need to go into your MetaMask Hopefully you already have a MetaMask set up. I'm using mom. <laughs> I'm using this account right here. Um, if you don't have a MetaMask wallet set up, you're gonna have to set that up. It is a, a Chrome extension that allows you to hold your crypto in a software wallet. It is an online wallet, it is a hot wallet, and then you can access all of your crypto right there in your MetaMask wallet. It's super valuable. You should have one of these set up. If you don't, you should definitely set one up. If you don't yet have the Binance Smart Chain Network on your MetaMask, what you're gonna do is open up your MetaMask, click on the top right there. Uh, it's gonna say Binance Smart Chain. This is just where all the networks show up, this button right here. And then you're going to go to add network. So uh, this will pop up right here. And what you need to do is copy and paste all of this information into the, collect into the correct places right here on the MetaMask website. I'm also gonna link down this article right here. This is just an article on how to actually add Binance Smart Chain into your MetaMask wallet. I'll link this down in the description as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click this right here. We're gonna copy the address and then you just paste the address right here into the recipient's address. Then you're gonna click preview withdrawal. It's gonna make you put in a code from your phone you're going to get the text to your phone, put in that code, and then you're also going to get an email. You also need to confirm it in the email that you get. Now, after a while, that BNB will then transfer into your MetaMask wallet right here, and your BNB amount will show up right here. Now that we have the BNB in our MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain network, we're going to go to spookyswap.finance. I'm going to leave all the links to all these websites down below so you can easily access all these sites. So now we're going to trade from the Binance Smart Chain wallet into or the Binance Smart Chain network into the Phantom network. We're going to go to select token. We're going to do BNB. We're going to click max, right? But you should also subtract some from the max. So I normally like to leave 0 0.01 BNB in my Binance Smart Chain wallet. That's just for gas fees, making sure I have enough money to do transfers on the Binance Smart Chain network. So once you click max here, you're gonna bridge the token. Um, you're gonna have to confirm it in the MetaMask wall right here. There's gonna be a pop-up. You have to confirm the gas fees, everything like that. And then we're gonna transfer the BNB from the Binance Smart Chain Network into the Phantom Network. Now we're gonna have to add the Phantom Opera Network to our MetaMask wallet to make sure that we have not that network as well. So same thing as before, we go to add network and then we're going to copy and paste all of this information into the correct slots in this interface right here now what you should have is you should have the phantom network the phantom opera network right here and you should see your bnb pop up here bop, pop up here after a while if you don't see it pop up it should happen automatically we can always import the token so you can just import the token address 
So this is the token address, the contract address for BNB right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the address right here. We're gonna go into Phantom Opera, import token. We can paste that right there, it knows what it is. So then we can add BNB into our Phantom Opera network on our MetaMask wallet. After a while, you should see the BNB pop into this wallet right here under the Phantom Opera network. Make sure you are on the Phantom Opera network. You should say it right here, Phantom Opera. Now we're gonna have to use a faucet for Phantom to get some Phantom into our Phantom Opera network to pay for the gas fees for trading on the Phantom Opera network. So we're gonna have to go to this site right here, which is mentasuave01-tools.com. I'll link this down below as well. All you need to do is go into your Phantom Opera uh, click to copy this address to the to your clipboard paste the address in here and click submit Now this is going to give you a minimal amount of phantom uh, Just enough to do transactions and there's two Criteria for you to actually be able to get the phantom to use this faucet The number one criteria is that the wallet has to be new to the phantom opera network and number two is that you have to have done a bridge on spooky swap or some other kind of swap recently so if you paste in the wallet we just did a uh, bridge on the spooky swap and the wallet is new to the phantom opera network so they should send you some phantom into your wallet and it should show up in here after a little bit of time you want to send some of the bnb to phantom so that you actually have some phantom to pay for the gas fees um, because the amount that you're getting from the faucet isn't going to be enough for that many transactions i always suggest sending in around ten dollars more than ten dollars worth of phantom into the network so that you have enough money for the gas fees so you can move stuff around in the phantom network once you send in that bnb into phantom then you can send the rest to heck um, and you do that just like this click swap you're gonna have to approve something in metamask up here you're just approving the gas fees make sure that they're not you know crazy for some reason um it should only be like pennies it should literally be pennies uh, like maybe five ten cents to do each transaction on the phantom opera network finally we should have some heck in our metamask wallet um, it should automatically pop up here but if it doesn't you can look up what the contract address is for heck so after a quick google search uh, you can just go to coin market cap look up the coin uh, you can copy the address right here then we're going to do the same thing we're going to metamask import token paste the token right there uh, MetaMask already knows what token it is and then you can import the token and then after a while you should see that trade from the BNB to heck show up in your MetaMask wallet now finally when we have the heck in our MetaMask wallet on the Phantom Opera network we can go to hectordow.com linked below and then we can go ahead and click on stake so stake right here or you can go ahead and bond you know you can bond for this other stuff um, but you need these coins to actually bond or we can just go to stake um, Because you're already set up to do that because you have heck and not those other Coins you're gonna have to click approve It's gonna pop up on metamask You're gonna have to pay some fees to approve and then you're gonna click max staking You're gonna stake all of your heck you're gonna click stake heck and then you're gonna have to approve it again right here and then you're gonna see your stake tech show up right here the next rewards the percentage reward and the five day rate reward now i think that heck is a really good project um i like their four by four how you can bond and you can get the rewards while you're in that vesting period to get your money back so i think that this project has a lot of potential and the apy is crazy it's about 250,000 apy and now hopefully you have some of your heck staked here on the hectordow.com staking website you're reaping those rewards and you're making some money now i'm gonna make some other tutorials on how to stake some other really cool coins so if you're interested in that subscribe down below if you found value in this video leave a like i'll see you in the next one Bye bye